Uh, all my friends, they date. All my friends, they into a relationship. Me too, I want to date. I want to have a boyfriend. I want to have a girlfriend. Uh, okay, you want to have a boyfriend. You want to have a girlfriend. Yes, now you are in a relationship. Yes, you are in a relationship. What then is the essence of that relationship? What then is your responsibility being in that relationship? As music or whiskey fan, I know you must have watched this video somewhere before, listened to it somewhere or sometime before, but we're gonna to listen to it or watch this video, listen to it, watch the video and listen to it one more time. And after what we must have watched this video together, we're gonna to see what we can learn of the summary of this video. We're gonna see what moral lesson, what extra we can learn from the essence track by Whiskey Fishing Thames. Happy viewing. I'm gonna, I'm on the guys you get me a ball. I'm gonna, I'm on my way out of the ball. I'm gonna, get on the girl at you. Yeah. 
I haven't watched this the essence track about whiskey featuring Thames. What can we say about this video? In summary, this video is, is a R&B video, uh, R&B romance uh, track, all right, that is uh, packed with uh, promises and admiration, all right. So, what else can we learn about this video? In the verse one of this video, this song uh, by Thames, he said, "Say I want to leave you in the morning, but I need you now." Say, I find you, I give you all you need. Say, I know what you like. Say, I feel it coming. But that's not where we're going there. Our emphasis is laid on the chorus by Tim. He said, you don't need no other body. You don't need no other body. Only you feel hold my body. That's where our emphasis lies. Say, you do not need no other body. Your essence, all right, this goes to talk about your essence or your responsibility being in that your relationship. Yes, that's your relationship is so that your partner does not need another person, does not need another man or another guy. That's your responsibility. To make sure that your partner does not need any other man or woman for any reason. Alright, so whatsoever your partner needs, you're just going to be there. You're just going to satisfy your partner emotionally, financially, and otherwise. So your partner does not need, you're going to make your essence and responsibility be in that relationship so that your partner, your date, your love, or your lover does not need another person. Say, you don't need no other body. You do not need another body, all right? I am all you need, all right? So anything you want, anything your partner, you should be able to meet up with it, whether as a girl or as a guy. Gone are those days where there's this ideology uh, circulating among the female folks that a guy should be able to take care of you, all right? So, but we are moved past that time. We are now in the time where it is uh, it is more uh, a two-way thing, all right? You do for me, they say, now, nah, when uh, body touch body, now nah, play till it's sweet, all right? So, you've got to... You've got to be uh, uh, proactive as well as the guy, all right? You've got to be there as well as the girl, as well as the guy, all right? So, gone at the time where the whole responsibility is leveled on the guy. We are going past that era. We are in the era of a two-way uh, thing to make it work, all right? So, what are some of the uh, recommendations or what can I say or what can we say are some of those things you can apply to make sure that uh, you're, you fulfill your responsibility being in that relationship. Number one thing here is you've got to hustle. Yes, you hear me talk about uh, meeting to your partner's need, whether as a girl or as a guy. Gone are the times where everything you want to buy, you want to buy a pad, you want to buy a bag, you need money for this and that, you call your guy, uh, babe, no. We are going past that time, all right? So there should be some level of independency, some level of independence within you, all right? You should be able to afford some of these things, some of these basic things and more, all right? So it makes the relationship flowing. It makes your partner, does, your partner, all right, comfortable in such a way that he or she knows that he does not need another person because the pressure will be, not be too much on him, all right? Unlike where everything you want to do, you have to call your boyfriend or call your girlfriend. Right, so number one thing there is you've got to hustle as a girl, as a guy, you've got to, you know, there's a saying that your partner could not meet with your financial need does not mean you should leave that guy. Look for a job is what you should do. Hustle, 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 hustle hard. Look for a job. We are going past that time where because your partner could not afford uh, this, they dropped job. Because your partner could not afford the pizza, then you drop to pizza. Alright, you've got to hustle and get some of these things for yourself. That's number one, hustle. Number two, you've got to be patient. Number two, you've got to be patient with your partner. Alright, and number three, you've got to be attentive. You've got to be always attentive, you know, to your partner. You know, we all come from different backgrounds, you know, we are raised from different families and different ideology, even different religions and backgrounds. Alright? So, it will only take you to be as patient and attentive, alright? So, if your partner says, this is how we do our chores in our house, this is how we arrange, you get to be patient with your partner and listen to that partner, alright? Listen to his style of doing 
And the fourth one, you've got to be adaptive. All right. So now that your partner has tell you, is telling you that this is how we do things, you've got to listen and see how you two can work things out. You've got to listen to that partner, and you've got to be patient with that partner. And having known all of the things he will tell you, you've got to adapt. You got to adjust. Yes, adjust your style as a girl, as a guy, because we are raised from different families and different backgrounds in ideology. So, we must be able to adapt, listen to each other, be patient with each other, and adapt to each other's style of things, alright? So, those are, those are four basic keys that can help you to fulfill your responsibility being in that relationship. Alright, thanks for watching. If you, if you have any comments about responsibility being in a relationship, these are four of my uh, should I say my opinion or my recommendation about how to uh, fulfill your responsibility being in that relationship? If there's any other opinion or recommendation you want to share, you can drop your comment in the comment section. I'd like to see what and learn from you, what else you want to say about that and learn from you. You can also drop that on my social media on Twitter at Fomabrits or here yeah, in this channel, just drop that. Excuse me, you can drop that and I'll respond to you as soon as possible.